welcome to Suncoast. Chamonix is a small town in France, a commune of roughly 9,000 people situated just north of Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is on the border of France, Switzerland and Italy and is the highest mountain in Western Europe. It has an elevation of 15,766 feet or 4,805 meters. The tallest peak in Europe is Mount Elbrus in the Russian Caucasus Mountains, which has an elevation of 18,441 feet or 5,621 meters. Chamonix is popular with alpinists and mountain enthusiasts. It is one of the oldest ski resorts in France and has the honor of being the first site of the Winter Olympics in 1924. It is the favorite access point to Mont Blanc, although it is also accessible from Italy. A modern large cable car system transports mountain lovers to the peaks of Aiguille Rouge and then higher up to Aiguille de Midi. I hope I'm pronouncing these words well enough. I'd appreciate any corrections from French speakers. Aigui in French means needle, so the translations for the two peaks are red needles and needle at midday. The name needle at midday is given because the sun appears over the peak's summit at noon. Aigui de Midi has an elevation of 12,605 feet or 3,842 meters. Arriving there, I have to say, I felt the altitude and my breathing became more labored. I felt lightheaded as if I had drunk hard liquor. I adjusted to the uh, altitude after 15 minutes or so. I traveled to Chamonix in July 2024 with Bella. That's my little Yorkshire, and she was with me everywhere I went, including on the cable car up near Mont Blanc. I was amazed at how well she adapted to every situation and even the altitude. The cable car rules do not allow children under three to be transported, and I believe that's because bad things can happen and uh, mountains are unforgiving. From Aiguille de Midi, there is a cable car that can take visitors to the nearby peak on the Italian side that is called the Skyway Monte Blanco. Also, I have to say that after the experience with the foggy conditions on Mount Pilatus, how grateful I am that we had a clear day just beneath Mont Blanc to get a clear 360 degree view. 
I enjoyed making this video and learned quite a bit of the area that I was visiting. If you've been watching my videos, I try to share with you what I learned with my viewers and consider important to provide geographical and historical context along with my first hand impressions. In fact, I start my videos with a geographical location on Google Earth to add clarity. I hope you like my approach and I'm very open to your comments to help me improve my videos. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.